hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn about how to set the state of a checkbox in power automate desktop so please watch this video till the end so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel please subscribe it so let's get started so today we are going to work with the fake name generator website again right and here you can see that there is a checkbox which we need to select right in power automate desktop there is an action which is named as set checkbox state so let's go back to the power automate desktop and here you can see that inside the web form filling there is an option which is named as set checkbox state on web page right inside checkbox state there are two options one is checked another one is unchecked so let's expand this advanced and here you have an option like wait for page to load which means if you have checked the checkbox right if that page is going to load so you want to make sure that when that checkbox is checked it should wait for that page to load right and this is enabled here and what happens if a pop-up you know dialog box appears in that case what do you want to do if one is close it other one is a press a button so when you choose a press a button so here you can specify which button you want to press so let's say if there is a button which is named as cancel so you can type cancel right you can choose this option accordingly and the last option is do nothing which which will which means that when you click on a checkbox and if there is a dialog box which appears in that case you don't want to do anything right and in this here you have an option to you know add the ui element so this is the element where this uh, you know this option so this is the element where this checkbox state will be checked right so let me click on cancel and then I will go to launch new Chrome and from here I will choose attach to running instance right and I want to attach to a Chrome tab so I will choose by title but I have also an option like by URL and use foreground window so I will choose by title right and from here I will specify in here I will specify the title of that web page and then if you see in the advanced tab you have an option to you know specify the timeout so it will time out after five seconds and the browser instance will be stored in the browser variable right so I will choose the I will specify the title of that web page so now here I have chosen the title of that web page right and then I will click on save okay so now I will come back and choose the set checkbox state on web page right before this I what I will do is I will show you how to you know you can also set the state of a checkbox using the click link on web page and I'll tell you what is the disadvantage of using click link on web page so let me just click on add UI element now I have this tracking session dialog box opened I will move mouse over this you know 
checkbox and then I will press control and left click and here you can see that it has made the selection right and then I will click on save now what I will do is I will click on run now you can see that it has clicked on checkbox right but what if this checkbox is already checked and now if we go back to power automate desktop and run this bot again what will happen it will again click on that checkbox which means in that case checkbox will be unchecked so this way the using click link on web page is not reliable right and there is a disadvantage to fix this what we can do is we can use set checkboxes state on web page action right I will click on select this click link on web page and click press the delete button now I will go and choose the set checkbox state on web page and from here I will choose that element so this is the element which I have captured and then I will click on select and what do I want to do I want to check that checkbox right so I will select that option and then click on save and now what I will do is I will run the bot as you can see it has checked this checkbox okay now I will go back to the power automate desktop now this time when I will run the bot you will see that it will not uncheck that checkbox we have selected the option as checked when we use the set checkbox state on web page so let me run this bot and then I will let you know as you can see it did not uncheck it because this is already checked and we wanted this checkbox to be checked right now let's go back to the power automate desktop and let's choose unchecked and then click on save and then run the bot and you see that it has unchecked that checkbox now this is already unchecked right so now if we run the bot again it won't do anything as you can see here right so this is the benefit of using the set checkbox on set checkbox state on web page if you use click link on web page action in this case you will have a problem right so this will be useful where you want to make sure that you know checkbox is checked for example you are going to log in a website and you want your credentials to be saved or whatever settings you have set whatever information you have filled you do not want that to be lost right and you want to retain those information in that case there will be a checkbox where you can set you know you can say that remember me right and it will be always checked and in that case the data will not be lost on from your web page so you can use set checkbox state on web page and it will remember the your data so this is how you can use set checkbox state on web page action in power automate desktop so if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day